By the look on your face, you've already experienced the Devesp's deceit firsthand. Indeed. Aurelia tried to blackmail us. I had to recover evidence she gathered against my cousin and myself. And stop a riot in town she caused by sticking up posters which mocked us. And which depicted you as the heroine. And I can assure you I'm not responsible. I don't doubt it, madam. However, Sir de Corsillon told me that the seal used on the wedding contract was fake. But that we needed the fake seal itself to prove it and put an end to this sham. So, you would like me to get Aurelia de Vesp away from her quarters, so you can search them at your leisure? That's the general idea. She did ask us to organize her arrival. Your message shouldn't surprise her. Don't worry, I know exactly what I'm going to write. The young de Vesp may be talented, but I have years more experience. Oh, if I may offer some advice, you should question the Norts who brought her here. They must have gleaned some information on our charming princess on such a long journey in close quarters. Admiral Cabral should know where they are. You should go and see her. Do you have any other questions? Goodbye, Lady Morange. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Be careful. Don't underestimate the trickery of the Divesps. Desarde, what can I do for you? Greetings, Admiral. I came to see you as I seek information about Aurelia de Vesp and her entourage. Since they landed on this island, they haven't ceased their efforts to undermine our city and our diplomatic position. And since they traveled on your ships for several months, I thought you and your men would surely have things to say about them. We don't make a habit of revealing information about our passengers, but I'm willing to make an exception this time. Since we got here, Part of our ship's crew, those who were in contact with the Devesps, haven't been heard from. The rest of the crew, the ones who steered the ship, are here. They're worried, and fear the worst for their comrades. I would be very grateful if you inquired of their whereabouts. If you find them alive, I will not object to them telling you everything they know. <laughs> Quite the opposite. One thing is certain. The Devesps will never set another foot on one of our ships. Rest assured, I'll do my best to find them. Goodbye, Admiral. Goodbye, Desarde. And be careful. I need to be going. Until...
A fake seal. I must admit that the Devesps are clever and well equipped. In any case, thanks to this seal, we can prove that the contract was forged. And we can send Miss Devesp back to the continent. We must find a way to save Lady Rouge. Would the Donegarda provide us with an antidote?
Honor Manawi. Hello. Or Tirtumat. I'm Vad from the Beraignodas clan. I need to speak to you. I've heard people talking about you in the village, and Duncas respects you, so I'm sure you'll understand. What is it? This land has been sacred for generations, and only the Donegada of our clan can come to calm the anger of Enon Milfrichtimen. This is where he spilled the burning blood of the land to destroy our enemies. The sun trembled and the sky was black for days. It is madness to come back here, especially for Renaixe. You must leave and take all the other Renaixe with you. Do not fret. I intend to ensure that they don't stay long. Neither here nor on this island, for that matter. I hope so, Honor Manawi. Because we can already feel the anger rising up to Credenus, and many would die if it spread. And these Renaixe say don't understand anything. They're multiplying like flies. No sooner had the ones in black arrived from the sea, than others came from the woods to surround them. And now, here you are. I promise that these lands will soon find their peace. Do you have anything else to ask us? Yes, I actually need your help. I'm sure you know all about the plants in this region. Do you know of any that are poisonous? The leader of those who came here plans to poison one of my friends. It's true that the leader left the camp at one point. She stayed in the woods for a while. If it was poisonous plants she was after, I'm sure she would have collected sedic leaves at this time of year. It's a slow but horrible poison, which causes a great deal of suffering. But the antidote can be found in some roots that we know well. You're in luck. We have a small bottle. Anyone who drinks it quickly after being poisoned will survive. Thank you. I'm infinitely grateful. Do you have anything else to ask us? Thanks again for your help. Goodbye. Wa awal and seg on Manawi. And don't forget, those Renaixe need to leave.
Someone here. We need help. Help! Locked. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you immensely for having freed us. Had we stayed here, those lunatics would have killed us. They already killed one of the men by giving him some kind of potion. Yes. Aurelia de Vesque came with a smile on her face and poisoned one of our men to test the effects of a plan. That's what she said. Sadly, that's not surprising. She plans to use it on Lady Morange, the former governor of New Serene. Thankfully, the Donegada living in the region already gave me an antidote. But you should still hurry up. If she wants that woman dead, she will use all means to see the deed through. Did you see or hear anything which could help me while you traveled here with Aurelia de Vesp? That woman is very secretive. She isn't the kind of person who speaks of her plans in front of those she treats as servants. I served her in her cabin. Every time I came in, she slipped the documents she was reading or writing in special chests. However, one day I heard her talking to one of her followers. She told him that with all the information they had gathered, they would easily take over the island. She clearly spoke of bringing the other governors to their knees with the information she had against them. She wants to blackmail them. She probably kept us locked up here because she knew that we had heard her plans. That's undoubtedly true. Thank you for this information. Do you know how to get back to the Admiral now that you're free? Yes. Don't worry. We'll soon be back on our ship. Thanks to you. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Be careful. Vesps remind me of horrible little scorpion fish, full of spikes and venom. They locked up my brothers, put together files full of horrendous lies on the governors. <sighs> With this, they could bend the whole island to their will.
thank you. Thank you for saving me. I never imagined the Defesps would go so far. She tried to poison me. Don't mention it. The Donny Garder of the Duncas clan should also be thanked, my lady. They gave us the antidote. May they be blessed. I'll send them a present to thank them. But you should go straight to the palace. Aurelia de Vesp was headed there. I'm afraid she may try to take over by force. I'll go there right away. Get well soon, my lady. Aurelia de Vesp. On behalf of Governor Constantin Dorsey, you are under arrest. Oh, really? Hardly surprising. Typical of the Dorsey family's underhanded methods. On what grounds, might I ask? Firstly, for fraud and forgery. The wedding contract you gave us is fake. <laughs> your lies are as dismal as they are desperate. The contract bears the seals of both my father and your prince. Is he trying to back out? Or has his idiot son simply decided to disobey him? Neither. The Dorsey seal upon this contract is forged, and I can prove it. Here. This is what was used to seal the contract. A cleverly made counterfeit we found in your camp. <laughs> that seal proves nothing. You probably made it yourself to undermine me. That contract could not be more authentic. The same, however, cannot be said of your noble lineage. The second charge made against you is the attempted murder of Lady Morange. Are you also going to deny that your men attacked her? This is a very serious accusation. I assure you that I had no knowledge of any attack on the former governor. And if an attack did indeed take place, I am certainly not the one responsible. Is that so? Then why does this journal, written in your handwriting, say that you wish to rid your city of all Dorsey sympathizers? and that you'd found the perfect poison to do the deed in the forest surrounding your camp. Thankfully for Lady Morange, the Donegada living in the region gave us an antidote. A journal only conveys thoughts, not facts. Don't tell me you've never wished for someone's death without actually acting on those thoughts. And more to the point, who's to say that journal's genuine in the first place? Your so-called evidence, Mr. Desade, is but lie after lie. Lastly, you are accused of having sequestered and murdered the noughts who brought you to this island. Another baseless accusation. I don't know how you could possibly prove my involvement. As it happens, we freed the survivors, and they are very willing to testify against you. For all the charges set against you, you are under arrest. <sighs> the Malachor upon you, Desade. I greatly underestimated you. How wrong I was. I should have courted you and made you my ally. Together, we would have been unstoppable. Very well. What are you going to do with me? You'll be imprisoned here while we wait for the Congregation Council's ruling. Go on. Lock her up. The De Vesps would have tried to impose themselves to the bitter end. It's fantastic that you gathered all this evidence. We won't have a ruling from the Council for months. Years, even. But I'm sure the De Vesps will pay a heavy price for Aurelia's folly, and the D'Orsay family will emerge greater than ever. Anyway, you should destroy the documents you found. Nobody else should ever get hold of them. You're right. I'm going to burn them all right now, just to be on the safe side. Goodbye, sir. Thank you for your help. I merely gave you guidance. That is my role. See you later.
All that's left is to destroy the evidence the Devesps collected about us. And with it, the web of lies cast upon my friends.
what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I'm in need of your help, Ulan. I'm looking for your High King Vinbar. I was told that you were one of the last people to see him. <laughs> I wouldn't know where you could find him. He disappeared moons ago, but you are our ally, our friend. I will tell you about the last time I met with him. We had met in the council at Dorhad Genadu to decide what to do about the Renaigse, but we were unable to come to an understanding. Some of us are full of violence and refuse to see what we gain by befriending your coin. Deirdre and the poor Bladnid were among them, alas. And only speak about the massacres. I defended you, of course, and attempted to make them hear reason, with some help from the cautious Dunkas. But our disagreement angered Vimbar. He decided to leave us and to seek counsel elsewhere. He wanted to go to the heart of the island to consult with En on Milfrictimen. Do you think he might have stayed there? I doubt it. It was too long ago. You should travel to Wenshavar, his village. Even if he decided to stay away from his people, he would not have abandoned his closest friends. Thank you, Ulan. Anything else? Nothing. I must go.
Beard Tiltomad on Almanawi. Esquetu. Hello. I'm sorry, but I do not speak your language. Really? Then you are a Renaigze. I have never met one with the bond. Might I do something for you? I am looking to find Vinbar, the High King of Tirfredi, and I was told that he was born in this village. He disappeared after visiting the heart of the island. But I was hoping someone here might know where he's hiding. You should speak with Sarah. She is the companion of our king. Where might I find her? I do not know. She left the village and I have not seen her in several days. Anything else? Goodbye. What hour and second? Here too mad. It is rare to see Renaixe here. Is there something I can do for you? I'm looking for High King Vinbar. I know that he disappeared after having visited the heart of the island. But someone here in this village might know where he went after that. If anyone knows, it would be Sarah. But you will not find her here. Anything else? Thank you for your help. We're Aulams. Is there something I can do for you? Would you know where I could find Sarah? She left to follow Vimbar. She wanted the mountains to take her as well. What do you mean? I don't know if Renaixe could understand. Our High King is on Olmenawi. 
and a Donay god. His bond with the mountain is very strong. Even stronger now that he speaks with the En Olmil Frichtimen. Sera knew that the mountain would take him back. And she wanted the mountain to take her as well. She went to attempt to bond herself to it. She sought the cavern of knowledge. We haven't seen her since. She might have succeeded. Anything else? Where is this cavern of knowledge located? We don't know. The caverns of knowledge are the concern of the Donegada. Anything else? Thank you for your help. Where Aulam said. Might I do something for you? Goodbye. What I want to Might I do something for you? Goodbye. What hour? Might I do something for you? Goodbye. Wow. Well, Might I do something for you? Tell me about Sarah. She is a ferocious warrior. And like I told you, she is the Menundanem, the companion of the Hoi King. They gave themselves one to the other many cycles ago. And their bond is very strong. Perhaps that is why she has left. Because she no longer could bear his absence. Anything else? I heard talk about a cavern of knowledge. It is a place where the Donegada go. Within the earth. 
They hear the voices of those that went before them, and they learn. There are some on Tiafradi. The closest to our village is found to the northeast of here, but the entrance is sealed, hidden. It is a sacred place, a place for only the Tanegada. Anything else? Goodbye. For our sake. But I do something for you. Goodbye. Wa awalan.
someone's coming to save you. Give in. Your life is in our hands. It is time to tell us all you know. The sooner you speak, the sooner this will be over with. We're not wrong. We better be discreet if we want to keep the element of surprise. She's been enduring this punishment for hours, blow upon blow through gritted teeth. Truly savage beast we have here. Do we even know if it speaks our language? Leave us. You will eventually tell us how you found your way into that grotto. Your defiance is only prolonging the inevitable. You remind me of that rat my master was studying. The creature used all of its fire in an effort to escape. Scratching, twisting, refusing to understand that the cage holding it was its only remaining world. It had everything it could ever need, but it wouldn't stop looking for a way out. Even though its fate was now sealed to serve science, its animal instinct drove it to flee. It had strangled itself between the bars of its own cage in a final futile attempt to escape. It was an enormous beast and very clever. If it had simply relented, it could have lived peacefully for many years. Instead of that... So this is how the Alliance treats the natives. No wonder they're revolting. We must intervene. But I recognize this face. Lord Dasade, what a pleasure to see you again. What good wind brings you? We've been looking for a woman. In fact, it's the one you've just been torturing. Can you explain to me what she has done to be treated this way? Believe me, we would never have reached such extremities if she had told us what we wanted. You see, we have been studying these beings that show, like you, such strange markings on their bodies. We call them metamorphs, but the natives call them Onol Manawi. And we seek to learn through what process they metamorphosize. We heard talk of a cavern of knowledge. The savages hide all of their knowledge within them, and certainly all the secrets that interest us. We discovered one here, but are unable to enter. 
This woman, she knows how to enter. But as you have witnessed, she refuses to tell us how. To know we are so close to understanding such a fascinating phenomenon. And to be able to do nothing. Let's just say it has made us... aggressive. It's extremely regrettable. Free her. We would like to have a word with her. She won't tell you anything. Let us handle this. She will give in at some point. Since you have chosen to act like monsters, it's like monsters we shall treat you. There's poison on my blade. Then let's go! To move out! And come Death on to the others! Move away! Things are about to get dicey! How are you feeling? Better now. Those Renaikse are absolute monsters. But who are you? You too are a Renaikse. Why have you freed me? We were told at Wenshavar that you and you alone could tell us where to find High King Vinbar. I wish I knew where he was right now. He bid me farewell weeks ago and he has not returned. I waited a long time and then I came here. To enter into the Cavern of Knowledge. You believe this is where he's hiding? No. But he came here often before he disappeared. I'm hoping to find answers. You save me. And so I must help you as well. You may come with me. Let's try to escape without bloodshed. We must get you to a safe place. Here is the entrance to the Cavern of Knowledge. I hope that Vinbar has left a clue to where he went. Something I could track. Is it your wish to join him? He is my Manundanem. That means the one who shares my mind in your language. We must be reunited. I understand. But why protect the entrance to the cavern at the risk of your own life? The Caverns of Knowledge are truly sacred places. Only the Donegada have the right to enter. But you're not a Donegad. Is that right? I am not. But I must enter in spite of everything. And since you have helped me, you may enter as well. Since you punished those other Renaikse, I believe you deserve it. Remind yourself that this honor is immense and show respect. I implore you. Put your fears to rest. We have not come to defile this sacred place. How do we enter? Allow me. I have seen Vinbar make these movements so many times. <laughs> 